Here in Victoria Tower, we hold over four million historical records from the House of Commons and the House of Lords. These records really lie at the heart of our parliamentary democracy. They've embodied our liberties, our rights and responsibilities for the past 500 years, and they include some of the most important constitutional records in the world. We preserve all of Parliament's records in a wide variety of formats, from the uh, earliest to the most modern, so that's everything from 15th century parchment rolls to uh, snapshots of our website. We ensure that Parliament's records can be preserved, whatever their format, both for current and future generations. Members of the public who want to see records in the Parliamentary Archives search our online catalogue. They then email us a list of references um, of the documents and make an appointment to come in on a particular day. We then fill out order slips for each document and we go into the tower every morning to retrieve the material and bring it down to our search room. Archive staff look at all the order slips for the day and then figure out which floors they need to go to in the tower um, so they can go and plan their journey through the tower and get each batch of material accordingly. They'll try and fetch out large items first and then add smaller items along the way and try and avoid going to more floors than necessary. There are obvious challenges. When they designed this building, they didn't design it with archives, trolleys in mind. There are 12 floors which hold archive material, about six miles of shelving holding more than 3 million records going back more than 500 years. The Victoria Tower was purpose-built, designed as a record repository, but it wasn't designed to have 12 floors and it didn't have any lifts in it at first, and so the lifts had to be shoehorned in afterwards, they're very small. We're turning around about 5,500 inquiries a year, which equates to something like about 16 a day. We point people in the right direction, so we can tell them whether we've got something or not, or maybe we can supply them with a copy of a document if they're interested in a specific item. Most of the inquiries we get to by email. Also, people do ring us up and ask us questions as well. For people who can't come in to visit, basically we have uh, a range of different online resources. We do obviously have our online catalogue, which really helps people a lot because they can identify material and then send us an inquiry, maybe asking for a copy of something. We have a public search room here, which is open from 10 o'clock until 4 every weekday. We have something like now about a thousand visits a year of people coming through. When people come and call us up and ask to book an appointment, what we try and do is to find out exactly what they're interested in, because obviously we have to get material out of the repository and that takes us a bit of time. Some people are academics who are looking at some of our political and parliamentary collections. Other people are really interested in things like roads and railways, because we have thousands of plans for that kind of thing here, and our staff are on standby to give them expert help and guidance. So we have about a thousand visitors a year who come on group visits to the parliamentary archives. The idea is they experience behind the scenes, so they don't just, just see the search room where people do their research, but they get to go inside the Victoria Tower. We get groups of students, history students perhaps, or archive students, people with special interests. We get groups of family historians, people coming who are interested in the history, the heritage of the building. I find people are invariably very excited about visiting the archives. I've never yet had a person who wasn't excited by walking into the original act room and finding himself surrounded by 60,000 parchment rolls. We really want to make Parliament's records more accessible and, and to more people. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to find the information that you want and then to use it in a way that is most convenient and useful to you whether that's here in our public search room or online from anywhere in the world. The story of Parliament is told through its records and we act as custodians of those records on behalf of the British people. And our role is to ensure that that story can continue to be told and understood both now and into the future.